God puts you in a place before giving you a purpose, i.e. you have to be there. There is not really a meaning of you being there yet, but um, there is a process, i.e. you have to be consistent in what you do every single day. Yo, yo guys, what up, what's happening? Yo, today, um, yes, day three of the vlog, yes, we're going again, we started again. If you haven't watched the rest of the videos, check them out right there. Um, what am I doing today? Cool, I'm going to Nando's quickly now. Um, so, I can't really, I'm not really going to vlog my day per se, to be honest, I'm not. Yes, but yesterday I went to an event called Beautiful Minds and I... If you watch the vlog, I ended the vlog with talking about going to talk at this Beautiful Minds event. Um, so, go check that out. No, I'm going to show you guys what happened and I'm briefly going to talk you through what it was about and show you some stuff. Before I show you that footage and all the stuff that happened yesterday, it was an amazing event. Um, check out this jumper right here. This is XO by Yems XO. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box right there. Check out that clothing and support that brand. It's a brand that I'm partnered with. Um, nice some stuff, African attire. Yeah, on my birthday she sent me like a box of like stuff. I haven't actually gone for that box, but hopefully I will. But this is the jumper that comes with it. Lovely and white, goes with the J's. Um, what else? Yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go into the footage right now. Cool. Hi! I can't see your face. I know, I'm not. Hey, we need a light. This is the lady that's in charge of this event. Hello! Um, this called Beautiful Man's. Hopefully, it should be great. It will be great. Let's go on YouTube. She's in yeah. We're gonna start very soon, um, but yeah, we're gonna have some fun with it. And she's got a story she's gonna tell that. I hope you guys like it. You know what I'm saying? I hate people, I love people, I want love, I want something, I want someone to love me, I want God, but I want it to help me, this pain, this fear, this rage is insane, I feel like I'm stuck in my own brain, I talk, but no one listens, I'm screaming, can't you hear it through the words I speak, give me a rope, wrap it around my throat, let me choke, then just let me hang, get a gun, get a bang in my chest, all my lungs explode. I don't want to be here and I just want to let you know that it ain't easy If depression was a threat, it's the only one that never needs me I want to help, I need help, I keep running in this race, I can't last I try hard, I try harder, I keep fighting, I kept fighting I pulled off, but in my head, the pain's off because I've never really had to kind of speak before to anybody um, but I will try um, today I had a dental something so my face is kind of hurting but I'm gonna try um, touch a soul if I can um, so obviously we're here today for obviously mental health awareness um, and it's something that's kind of near and dear to me because um, I guess being being in the lane I've been in and you know in the position I've been in in life um, I kind of went through some turmoil Obviously, being a male, it was kind of hard to communicate my and express like how I felt, and um, obviously life took its course. So I was kind of gonna share that with you, and obviously, if I can share a word, I'll help everybody, like you know, feel better in life and their position in life, and that'd be great. Um, kind of what I wanted to say as I was like sat over there, I was thinking, I was like, um, a lot of us feel quite depressed, we feel quite um, confused about where we are in life. Um, and I kind of wanted to share the way I kind of see it, it and try to like comfort myself. Um, um, I'm a Christian, so I read the Bible a lot, and um, I try to relate to the, that side. Um, so a lot of what I'm going to say today is going to come um, as reference of that. But um, 
one thing that stood out to me from the Bible was Adam was put into Eden. Um, and what I wanted to express today was like, um, a lot of people, we, we try to find our purpose, we try to figure ourselves out, we try to get confused, we go to low places, higher places, and we can't seem to figure what we're meant to be here for, we can't figure out what we're meant to be doing, you know? Um, and in everything that happened, like I found comfort in knowing that, or understanding that God puts you in a place before giving you a purpose, i.e. you have to be there, 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 there is not really a meaning of you being there yet, but um, there is a process, i.e. you have to be consistent in what you do every single day and every single minute, um, because you don't need to understand until you understand, um, I, I really believe that. Um, so last year in, in, in uni, I went through this whole student finance issue where I had to fend for myself, ended up having to leave uni, went through this whole GoFundMe process. Um, upon all that, I mean, behind the scenes, there was a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, um, and a lot of um, heartache, let's say, because um, I wasn't, I didn't feel um, that I was uh, in, in a place of readiness to even be there, but I felt like God was telling me I needed to be a Leicester. Before coming to Leicester, I got offered a job that would have been very well paid, but then I, I decided to come to Leicester to take a leap of faith to, I guess, find my purpose. For some reason, I was like, I need to be here. And in everything I went through, um, it, was, it was quite stressful, um, very, very stressful. Um, and obviously, with a lot of support in, in, in me sharing how I felt, in me, me expressing, um, I'm here today to obviously give testimony to God that I'm, I'm moving and everything's changed. Um, but upon that, I, I kind of um, found a lot of hope at the time in, in my guys. I had a lot of, um, I don't, I, I'm not a guy that really usually has a lot of male friends um, just because I don't do certain things, so I don't align myself with certain things and that leaves me as a social outcast to a degree. Um, but I was blessed to have friends like Manny Shaheem, if you guys know them, shout them out, um, who, who were just there to kind of lay a nice foundation of expression, i.e. they were emotionally available, they made themselves emotionally available to, the, like, to me. And first of all, to guys, I, I need to express the importance of making yourself, and I say emotionally available to your guys, because I feel like as guys, it's easy to talk. You know, we say hi and bye, we talk about this girl, and we keep conversation moving, but we never really get to the, you know, to, to the nitty and gritty of, you know, what's really going on. And as guys, it's easy just to go past that and go to the next thing, because um, we're all, you know, encapsulated in all we have to do, all we have to achieve. So it's like, I feel like guys, we all need to, make sure that we're in a position to really open your heart and ears to your friend and you need to make that very known um, to, to your guy friends, to your female friends, to everybody. But obviously my heart is saying to guys as of right now, you need to you know, tell your brother, um, tell, your, tell your bros that you love them, you know what I'm saying? I'm here for you in that sense because that's, uh, even if you find it moist, it's, you know, you, you can save a life. And I feel like in the position that I was put in around like-minded individuals who were looking, looking out for me and, and emotionally in that sense, like, Manny would sit there, talk to me, pray with me, do all these things that I wasn't taught to do, I, I wouldn't necessarily have done because, you know, people made out there was a certain femininity in it, which isn't a problem. Um, so, I've been blessed to move forward. And then going back into that place I was talking about, um, in this whole season, I didn't understand why I'm, I'm feeling lost, you know, why have I come to this place and like, I'm going through all this turmoil and, and I don't understand that. Like, why did I even allow myself to be here? Um, and one thing that always stayed with me through the whole thing was um, when in a dark place, you've got to picture yourself as a seed that's planted. Um, i.e. Um, you don't really have to know what you're here for. You just need to be in that place, in the right place. And if that's not the right place for you, in my belief, I believe God will strip you away from everything that's around you and put you in a better place or in a better place for you. You might not see it now, but in a sense, it will make sense when it does. And for me, God stripped away everything. And to me, it was maybe pride. It might have been um, lots of different things that I might have been dealing with personally and put me in a place of, like I had to walk in humility. I had to talk to somebody. I had to ask for help. I had to, I had to rely on support. And in me, that, that, was, never, that was never me. I'm, I'm, I'm an independent person. And in that, I found my purpose through the place that God put me in. So I wanna just leave you guys with a message really quick that regardless of all you're going through in your head, all the turmoil that you're going through, all the confusions, um, you don't really need to understand why you're here right now, but we're all here for a reason. And eventually God's gonna show you your purpose in what you're doing. But all you need to do is do what you do every day. You know, you can't expect to have a six pack without doing core exercises. You know, it doesn't make sense 
when you do your first setup. But you know, if you do it for a three month period or a three year period, you start to see a difference. And I just need to express the importance of also expressing yourself within your process because sometimes we seem to get lost in our own vision. Sometimes we don't even have a vision. Um, so we need to express these dreams and you know, because you don't know who you could meet that could help you even like, you speed up this whole process that you that you're blind, you know. Express yourself to everybody. Like I spoke to I spoke to Manny. If I'd never spoke to Manny, Manny would have never had in his heart to create a GoFundMe for me to that, that would have changed my life in a sense for that year. Do you know what I'm saying? I would have been pushed into debt, I would have been pushed into so many different things. But I had one conversation with Manny and I said, yo, like this is actually what's happening right now. And he didn't know. I peeled off a, I peeled off a layer of myself and exposed to him the turmoil that's going into my head. And in his decision one day he called me and said, Yo, look at look at this link. And yeah, a lot of money was raised that really helped my situation and pushed me further into life and, and to put me essentially where I am now. And I'm blessed to be working in favor where I, I get to, I guess, create, I created this YouTube channel, this whole thing I'm doing. I created that because I had to survive. I had to have fun while I'm here. But it, it, it then became something that was purposeful. And that goes back to what I was saying with place and purpose. So to everybody who's kind of stressed out right now or confused as to where they are in life, you're exactly where you need to be. Just keep doing what you need to do. Keep going to that lecture that you don't really want to go to. Keep going to that, you know, brave, if that be the case. Just be where you are, be safe with it, but you know, you're exactly where you're meant to be. And soon enough, before you realize, a purpose should be created. And obviously to the people who lose friends, or you know, when you go through that whole process, it's okay, things are just being peeled away. Things that are not irrelevant. And just keep that in mind, and it's important to know yourself and, and know that it's fine to be where you are. You might not be happy, but always express to somebody. And yeah, that's, that's the message from me to, to you guys. So I hope I could have said something useful. <laughs>